Today, I want to talk about the different flavors of seventh chords. Just a quick review, seventh chords are a four note chord. That's what makes them different from a triad, which only has three notes. They're called seventh chords because in addition to the first, third, and fifth scale degrees that make up a triad, the seventh scale degree is also added. That's why it has the name seventh chord. So a triad is a type of three note chord, and a seventh chord is a type of four note chord. Those are the biggest differences between the two, but I wanna talk about the different flavors of a seventh chord. First, let's look at the most basic type of seventh chord, the major seventh chord. Let's say we want a C major seventh chord. Well, C is going to be our root note. We know that much from the name. The root is always the letter in the name of the chord. This will also determine our key signature here. So the key signature for C major is no sharps or flats. We don't have any sharps or flats in the key signature, so we're good to go. The next step is to fill out the C major scale, which is just going from C to C in the staff. And numbering our scale degrees from one to seven. Now we can find our chord notes. The major seventh chord uses the one, three, five, and seven of the scale. One is C natural, three is E natural, five is G natural, and seven is B natural. This is our C major seven chord. You will also see this written in shorthand, in sheet music, or chord charts like this. The letter of the chord, M, A, J, and the number seven. Let's do another example of a major seven chord, this time G major seven. So G is our root. This also tells us what key signature to use. So the key signature of G major is one sharp, F sharp. We'll make sure we put that in the key signature and now we can fill out the rest of the scale from G to G with our numbered scale degrees. Remember that our major seventh chord uses the one, three, five, and seven of the scale. Let's find those notes. One is G natural. Three is B natural. Five is D natural. And seven is F sharp. Remember that we have F sharp in our key signature. Don't forget about your key signature when building out these chords. So that is our G major seven chord. The next type of seventh chord is called a dominant seventh chord. So let's build a C dominant seventh chord. C is our root. We know that much from the chord name. This also tells us what key signature to use. C major has no sharps or flats, so we're good there. And we can fill out our scale with our numbered scale degrees. For a dominant seventh chord, we will use the same scale degrees as before, one, three, five, seven, but this time you will use a flat seven. Let's find those notes. One is C natural, three is E natural, five is G natural, and to get the flat seven, we go to the seventh note in the scale and we lower it one half step. B natural is the seventh note in the scale and lowered one half step is B flat. So we use B flat in this chord. C, E, G, B flat is our C dominant seventh chord. You will see this written in shorthand or in sheet music or chord charts like this, the letter of the chord and the number seven. Let's do another example of a dominant seventh chord, this time G7. So G is our root. This also tells us what key signature to use. So the key signature of G major is one sharp, F sharp. We'll make sure we put that in the key signature and now we can fill out the rest of the scale from G to G with our numbered scale degrees. Remember, that our dominant seventh chord uses the one, three, five, and flat seven of the scale. Let's find those notes. One is G natural, three is B natural, 
5 is D natural, and flat 7 is F natural. The normal 7th note in this scale is F sharp because of our key signature. So if we take F sharp and lower it one half step, we get F natural. So our flat 7 in this chord is F natural. And that is our G7 chord. These are probably the two most common seventh chords you'll see in music. These show up in everything from classical to pop, jazz, and other modern styles like R&B and lo-fi, so this should give you a good introduction into what seventh chords sound like and how they're built. There are more complicated seventh chords that we can talk about later, but I want you to practice these first. Get a good understanding of these so that when we get to the more complicated ones, Hopefully they're not as complicated. I also made a worksheet for all of my patrons on Patreon that goes over how to build these chords and some exercises to practice with. If you're a patron, you can head over there now and download it. If you're not a patron, it's really easy to sign up and all of your support helps me make more content for this channel. One more thing before I go, I wanna show you what these look like in a modern DAW in case you're more familiar with that. So in our DAW, we're going to use uh, this channel here, I'm going to add in some empty MIDI space that we can work with. And that gives us our piano roll down here. Our first example was C major seven. So we want to use the one, three, five, and seven of the C major scale. If we use our paintbrush here, we can paint in our C, E, G, B natural. That is our C major seven chord. To get our C dominant seventh chord, all we have to do is lower the seventh a half step. So what I'm gonna do is just copy over our major seven chord into the next beat, and then take our B natural and lower it one half step. In our piano roll, that's just one line. So if we take it down one line, that goes from B natural to our B flat right here. So that gives us our C dominant seventh chord. So now we have C, E, G, B flat. And that is our C major seven chord and our C dominant seventh chord. Thank you for watching. And thank you so much for your support on Patreon. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.